my way.
Open up. Incoming.
inside. Simple enough. What am I to do? Let's make this quick. My head's killing me! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority.
Ignis. I can't even catch my breath. Somewhere to camp soon. Soldier.
Very well. We have <laughs> chances. Lies before. 
for me. Something's on my mind. Grab your bags. We're moving. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us.
We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Of course. May you keep balance. Very well. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. I wish I had better, but this is all I have.
Make Tamora's luck twist your way. I'd love to, thanks. I miss my Herman, forge. is that you? You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it. Pray to for a real forge. Maradin? He probably wouldn't listen to me. No time to rest. Never a dull moment. Seems like a good moment to talk. <sighs> Who do I pray? I wish I had better. But this is all I have. May Tamora's luck twist your way. My faith protects me. Wits 
and blades always sharp. Sylvanus, not me. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, Master. She shows great insolence, but time will humble her, and the Grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Strength in the shadows. May Sylvanas forgive me. At least you recognize your mistake. This is a beginning. A small one. Sylvanas, keep you. Something's on my mind. You think you saved us? You just prolonged the inevitable. Sooner or later, other outsiders will bring trouble to the Grove. Testing my patience. Better not be cursed. You've done it. You've brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The Grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward. Didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanus' peace to this place, but I'll have the chance, thanks to you. There's a parasite nearby. 
You should take a closer look. Beautiful glaive. So why does touching it give me a knot in my stomach? Have a look. I bet that'll fit in my pack. We did it. Come on. Give me a kiss. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Excellent. Lead the way. Have 
twinkling. I'm fine. Uh, loosen up, pick her up. No, no, an Albert. <laughs> Toddlers are easier to please than you lot. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Think of it. No more caves, no more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Ah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Really? I'm honored. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood. And I didn't want to cast a gray cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettle them deep down. As I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Claws will pop the balloons, you see. And the sweet cakes don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. There are spikes in places there really shouldn't be. <clears throat> but off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Sometime alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. Are you planning to share the last of that one? Um, no. <laughs> but that's not what happened. Live a little. Patience. Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. Yeah. Don't tell Roland, but his magic show might be the highlight. He's been doing them since we were little. He'll make it big in Baldur's Gate. I know it. Would you look at this place? All these people. Happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible and with such lovely company. With you and just lately, I feel like I can remember what it's like to be good. I tried in the beginning. <laughs> Blew up in my face spectacularly. Lesson learned. 
Never try to befriend a devil, cambion, or imp. Orphans are good for a drink and joke, but you can't turn your back on them. But hey, enough about that. That's history now. I want to think about the future. The one nice thing about being trapped in the inexorable grind of time is you've always got something to look forward to. Me too. I don't think I've ever looked forward to anything as much. You better go enjoy the party before I do something I'll regret. I like you unburnt, after all. Bye, soldier. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? After Elturel, I think you're right. Faerun deserves to see us as we really are. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. I'm not. I'm glad they can celebrate before we've even got to the gate. Just like I'll be glad to be rid of them once we're there. Go on now, don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll have plenty of time together on the way to Moonrise. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely resourceful. But there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself, as enjoyable as that may be. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Now, settle in. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. Why, you're naming, quite obviously. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk, after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. Far too much? This is the very problem. If you could set aside your many triumphs, carry out one defining act, not to belittle your achievements today, of course, but besting a dragon, a giant, a god, perhaps? Hmm. I must deliberate. Go, enjoy your evening. I shall have work for you in the days to come. Shari! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. I 
need to dance. No. No, I need to lie down. Beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion. Though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. Geron's lost nose. No! Tara is not any cat. She's a tressum. And given your confusion, I'm guessing you've never met one. They're brilliant creatures. Fine company for any self-respecting wizard. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year inconsolable wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy I gave enough of myself but Tara never did it was her encouragement her research that led me to my treatment once we knew that magically infused items were the key she went out to find them for me she saved my life after so long being cared for by someone else it feels good to have repaid the favor not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. Smart does her a disservice. She's a fine wizard in her own right, though somewhat held back by her lack of opposable thumbs. Remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in me. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. She'll love you. So long as you don't rub her belly. She hates it when anyone does that. Not an animal lover. Nobody's perfect, I suppose. Nonetheless, your finer qualities are... Remarkably plentiful. Suffice it to say, I think rather a lot of you. And there aren't many on this plane who I'd give such high praise. Right. Understood. You shall hear no more on the subject from me. Consider this budding romance thoroughly nipped. Though I hope our friendship need not come to such an abrupt end. Go! Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. What are you going to do in the city? Well, there's always work for a guard. You? I've always wanted to sing at the end. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. How torturous for us both that I'll never get a taste. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself.
You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on their head and vinegar for wine. I'm just looking for a little more excitement, a little more fun. Don't be so sour. I like a good time as much as anyone. You know, we could always make our own entertainment, darling. Get a little closer, so to speak. And here I mistook you for someone with taste. A pity. But have it your way. I'm happy to entertain myself. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean... desperate people. Like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. As you like. Try not to tire yourself out too much. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. With a profane flush of arousal, you realize she may well be doing the same. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. Moonrise Towers beckons. I've told you all I know, and now I'll join your camp to help you face whatever's to come. With luck and the Oak Father's blessings, we might actually survive. Are you ready? Onward, then. We'll speak soon, I'm sure. <laughs> 